everyone, I'm Professor Mohamed Shaw with you. Our subject today is uh, it's about uh, plate heat exchanger model. First of all, you have to specify your working folder, go to your drive and your working folder, and then you, uh, you have to pick your uh, folder, and then uh, click here and sort by name and group by type in order to organize your uh, uh, dashboard and your model. This is your model. Okay, double clicking and we are here. This is a plate heat exchanger unit. It's water to water side. So we have cooling, uh, it's a heat exchanger. It's, it's a heat exchanger, normal heat exchanger, with, but it's not a, like shell and tube or surface condenser. This is a plates heat exchanger. So we have here uh, 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 cooling side is water and hot side is also water, not a steam. So we have to, we need to transfer uh, uh, the working fluids uh, between uh, this uh, medium. Um, surely you can uh, change your uh, working medium, but uh, um, this type of water to water or water to steam, uh, mainly water to water heater are widely used for plate uh, heat exchangers. First of all, go to view and model browser, check all of these. Okay, now our model is ready. Double clicking here. Okay, uh, before going, before uh, specifying our inputs, let's go inside and see. Okay, this is our main uh, block. Um, we have to assign some inputs such as effectiveness. What is your design effectiveness? What is your uh, hot side uh, flow rate? and uh, this is hot side hot side flow rate cooling side flow rate so this um, this two uh, main inputs you can uh, by these uh, inputs you can control uh, flow rate through the, uh, the plate heat exchanger and you you will be able to remove these uh, flow rates inputs and assign uh, another input from another uh, by meaning of copy and uh, this model and uh, use it in another uh, um, system or something like this. We have salinity ratio. Suppose we have salinity feed with, with salinity, suppose it's seawater or so you can control your salinity. What is your fouling factor? Factor uh, thermal conductivity, thickness, what's gap between plates, a number of plates you can control. Uh, inlet uh, uh, hot side temperature, what is your maximum hot side temperature and what is your uh, minimum uh, cooling uh, uh, side temperature which is inlet cooling temperature. Okay, our target is to uh, discover outlet cooling temperature and pressure and salby, this is for cooling side and outlet uh, and salby and temperature and pressure for uh, hot side uh, what is your overall heat transfer coefficient, logarithmic mean temperature, total surface area, height, and uh, plate length. Okay, and you can add more uh, outputs if you would like. Uh, first of all, you can control your model from here, going inside, and okay, this is our control unit, control uh, uh, dashboard. So you can you can control your inputs here. And so you can uh, assign your uh, simulation time into zero, okay? And try to check uh, any stream you would like to discover, any stream you would like to discover, okay? And you type your uh, the stream tag or name, okay? And after this, you can check here in order to send signal to data inspector, or you can check here and check this box in order to send your output data for for to uh, into a graph or figure or whatever so you can if you would like to run in zero demand time so you can click it says set your submission time into zero and let's go and try to uh, assign some inputs let's control plus emphasizing and okay we have here uh, operating conditions what is your hot side uh, flow rate? Suppose it's five kilogram per second. What is your cooling side mass flow rate? Suppose it's two kilogram per second. And uh, what is your um, uh, hot side temperature? 
Elite hot site temperature, it's the top hot site uh, or it's uh, the top uh, uh, temperature uh, through the cycle or the unit. So I suppose it's uh, 200. Okay. I, I would like to cool this one from 200. And the cooling water, it's, uh, it's around 20 degrees Celsius. Okay. So, and this is cooling side and this is hot side. For design, uh, fouling factor, okay, you can control fouling factor, 0 0.5, for example. And uh, f effectiveness, suppose it's around 80% effectiveness. And uh, it's material thermal conductivity. You can choose material thermal conductivity, it's up to you. Uh, is it uh, aluminium, plastic, cover, uh, uh, copper, whatever, iron, stainless steel, galvanized, whatever. A plate, plate thickness, you can choose your plate thickness. Plate width, what is your plate width? And uh, uh, a plate, uh, plate gap, you can, uh, what is your gap, uh, okay, between plates? Uh, and number of plates, suppose I need 100, 100 plates, okay, and that's all. So we can save our uh, model and uh, hit run and you will see your results uh, here so you will be able to collect your results as you can see here this is for, um, remember that we set our top cycle to, to, top unit temperature is it's around 200 and now we got uh, 164 this is outlet cooling temperature uh, and we have here pressure outlet cooling pressure at Salpi uh, this is out the hot site. So we dropped, we succeeded to drop our temperature from 200 down to uh, 56 and transferring our thermal power to the cooling side and from 20 degrees up to 164. And therefore, this is our pressure, out the hot site pressure, and we have heat and salpy overall heat transfer coefficient, logarithmic mean temperature, your surface area plate lens and uh, height and, and, uh, and total lens so you can you can change your output suppose let's say uh, you can go outside here and MATLAB workspace and you file your uh, data um, are stored in uh, MATLAB workspace so you can double clicking uh, you can deal with it you can drag and drop and click enter you will find your uh, uh, output data Let's go here and we are trying to make some changes. Set your simulation time into infinity. Go outside here, double clicking, go inside again, and let's go here. Okay, so I will run my model during uh, uh, infinity of time. You can see this by 10 seconds, one hour, it's up to you. Uh, I, I will choose, uh, I will choose infin infinity of time and Let's go and run our model and try to change the inputs and see the effect on the outputs. Let's hit run and going here. So our our summation time is running. Let's increase our mass flow rate. I'm trying to increase mass flow rate as you can see here. The area is increasing massively because you increase. Let's increase the cooling side mass flow rate. Increasing cooling side would decrease uh, the, uh, the mass. The, they transfer area as you can see okay and uh, what is our hot side let's uh, decrease our hot side down to 160 degrees Celsius and increasing our cooling temperature up to 25 okay and let's go here for uh, firing factor what is your firing factor effect uh, yes, it's uh, it has a massive effect on area, okay, and per, and effectiveness. Surely it, it can uh, change our temperature and pressure, salvi, okay, down to 65, and you can change this, but you have to stop your simulation time or pause. Uh, number of plates. Let's increase number of plates. I am increasing number of plates, okay, okay, as you can see here and uh, let's pause you can pause and then going here and let's change the width suppose it's 0.5 uh, meter and let's hit run again 
and as you can see our effect by changing uh, your parameters okay okay let's you can stop our simulation time so stop your run and going here and let's uh, um, uh, inspect our results now we have here some results what is your uh, uh, outlet uh, cooling water temperature as you can see here gradual decrease and decrease according to your param parameter change uh, pressure outlet cooling pressure what is your uh, outlet in salby okay the same behavior hot side this is your this is cooling side and this this is your hot side temperature and pressure as you can see here and uh, we have here uh, in salby okay this is pressure it's all bit of pressure overall heat transfer coefficient let's try to this is your logarithmic mean temperature and we have here area as you can see here and we can add more fields if you would like add more fields and you can send your results to, the, to a figure and order to inspect them and um, let's go for uh, height plate height okay as you can see increasing and decreasing and we have here uh, lens split lens so uh, now it um, it become uh, so clear that you can deal with your outputs uh, easily you can change one parameter and see the effect you can compare runs suppose i will compare runs now i i, I will close this one and now i will run again okay run my model again but i have to go to the panel input panels and now it's here and let's hit run and try to change and make another run let's make another run i will uh, decrease uh, hot side flow rate and i will decrease cooling side flow rate okay let's increase our uh, hot side temperature up to uh, uh, 200 200 plus and cooling temperature let's increase our cooling temperature okay and uh, let's in, uh, increase our effectiveness increasing uh, effectiveness as you can see here and uh, decreasing a number of plates down to uh, 100 for example 100 plates as you can see here and okay let's go for fouling factor i will increase my fouling factor okay increasing fouling factor uh, will uh, surely increase your heat transfer area sure that's for sure okay now uh, let's stop our results stop going again inside uh, your model your data inspector i'm sorry okay you will find your uh, uh, the last run uh, results are st completely stored so you can compare your uh, runs uh, now okay we can compare our runs now so this is outlet cooling water temperature based on the previous run so i i i found i i can compare now we have this is the number number two run okay and this is pressure as you can see you can realize there is a huge difference between them so you can compare and uh, plate height let's go for plate height and uh, this is uh, plate length as you can see here plate, this is your plate length and okay yes and uh, hot side this is your hot side temperature hot side pressure hot side in salby okay and uh, overall heat transfer coefficient okay as you can see you can realize the difference logarithmic mean temperature and uh, total surface area okay so you can realize the difference between uh, two results you can add more results based on 
uh, the change of one parameter or two, or you can use uh, signal data or uh, signal uh, builder data in order to change uh, all parameters at once, and so you can uh, discover your effect, uh, uh, your changes uh, uh, at the same time. Uh, finally, I would like to thank you very much for your inter interest in our model. Don't forget to like, share, and uh, subscribe. Uh, thank you very much.